Hello, my 3D printer peeps and fellow Halo Mage and Halo Mage Pro users. I just wanted to show you how easy it is to upgrade your firmware using Creality Cloud. As you know, Creality Cloud has a Wi Fi Cloud Box technology built into it and functions exactly the same as a Creality printer with a Creality Wi Fi Cloud Box attached to it. To access your Halo Mage or Halo Mage Pro, simply log into your Creality Cloud account. If you don't have one, you should definitely make one right now. Once there, click on Workbench. Inside Workbench, you will see everything regarding your Creality Cloud account. What you're looking for is your printers. These are your FDM printers. These are your resin printers. You can see I have one resin printer. That's the Halo Mage Pro. I'm going to click on it and it will come up and look like this. This is the name of my printer. This is the status of the printer, not the cloud box itself, but the printer. The Halo Mage does not have a cloud box attached. The hardware and technology are inside the printer itself. So online here does in fact represent the printer and the Wi-Fi cloud technology. Whereas if you are on an FDM printer, that notification tells you whether or not the printer is online, not the box itself. You will notice there's a notification right here that says firmware version too low. All we are going to do is click on update now. It is going to show us the current version of our firmware and the current version that exists. See what is new in the firmware update and to go ahead and get these fancy new features, we will press update now. Update again and away we go. During this firmware update, you should see the firmware update progress on your printer's screen. Once it's done, the printer will reset and you will be ready to go and utilize that new firmware update. Here you will see the firmware is updating on the Halo Mage Pro through the Creality Cloud app. Also, while this isn't typically the case, if you haven't updated your machine in a while or it's new, it may actually prompt you to go through the setup for the new firmware if it is a drastic change in firmware. So I just chose my language. Pick my Wi-Fi again, press OK, and just go ahead and press back to home page. And here you can see, it now shows that you have the current version of the firmware and no new version is needed because it's the latest version. That's how you do it. Go back to your workbench and you are ready to resume using your Mage or Mage Pro with the latest firmware. Creality Cloud has come a long way since launch, and by adding a Creality Cloud box to your other Creality 3D printers, you can gain access to its wireless capabilities, including 3D printing and wireless firmware updates, straight from the Creality Cloud workbench here on creatycloud.com. I'll leave a link to the Wi-Fi Cloud box in my description.